All right, we're finally playing a new game. It's uh, it's Bloodborne. You might notice this is my favorite game of all time. This is a, a, a decent game. <laughs> <laughs> so I've beaten this game three times. I've gotten the platinum trophy. I've done everything. I've made Bloodborne my bloody bitch. Uh, so with that being said, Sullivan is the one who's going to be playing. Yeah, I've played my fair share. Well, that's not even that <laughs> true. I've played. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> All right, so you've you've beaten like you've beaten the cleric beast, you've beaten Father Gascoigne. Yep, is that it? Uh, two bosses. Pretty much. All right, so let's <laughs> jump in here. Hit that new game. Oh uh, yes, pale blood. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh, you've come to the right place. This is my wheelchair. <laughs> so for those who don't know, basically what's going on right now is you're going to Yarnum, you're a hunter, and you're joining the Knight of the Hunt. Uh, there's a lot of blood stuff that gets into this. I'm just going to explain it as it happens, because the lore in this game is insane. And it's one of the reasons it's my favorite. So right now we're signing a contract that's their fancy way of saying, make your character. <laughs> Spoiler. <laughs> that guy doesn't have any eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what are we going to name this guy? Uh, how about... Gapples. Gapples. Yeah, Gapples. Oh. Gapples. Gapples? Gap just see what you get. Gap Gapples. Actually, sounds like a Bloodborne name, kind of. Capicals. All right. Perfect. Male. Sure. Young. That doesn't matter. Okay, origin. This is where it starts to matter. Really? Did you not know that? This milk, just this milk uh, determines toast. your starting stats. Oh yeah, I think I uh, went some, with the highest vitality. You want to know some tasty lore? What? Lone survivor. Lone survivor of Lost Hamlet. If we get into the DLC, you're gonna see that Hamlet. <gasps> I just want to do the most damage. Violent as fast pass. As possible. Violent pass is going to do the most damage then. All right, let's do it. All right, uh, you going to mess with his appearance at all? Uh, yeah. Uh, he's very wrinkly. Save your favorites. What? No. <laughs> finish. Right, finish. Let's jump in. This. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so also we made a rule that I'm not allowed to play at all. Yeah. Sullivan has to beat this himself. <sighs> okay, so you're fine with me like giving you like tips on the bosses and what they do. Okay, good. Otherwise, I was got to do it anyway. All right, here we go. We're all signed and sealed. Contracts made. We're signed, ready to sealed, delivered. We're ready to jump out in the yarn and see what the town's got going for us. Uh, where's the where's the wheelchair, man? Where'd it go? It's dark. Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's rising up out of a pool of roofies. <laughs> in classic like Bloodborne Dark Souls fashion, this guy is literally just a normal enemy. It looks like it would be a boss in any other game. What are you doing to me? Suck on my claw. Now that's deceiving. Yeah, you makes can't me, do that. <laughs> <laughs> makes me think that I'm, you know, invulnerable to these guys. Yeah. I think they uh, literally put that in as a hint because the beasts are weak against fire. Did you know that? I think I did. Yeah. So I thought these guys were bad guys when they first started crawling up all of my junk. There's little babbies. Yeah. They're the messengers. <laughs> He's got a vagina mouth. Yeah. That one's got teeth. That one's gross. <laughs> Turn it off. You're gross. <laughs> Alright, so we're waking up in Iosefka's clinic. Look at that old ass man. Uh, yep. Read, see what that says on yep. the chair. Inspect. Okay. I don't have my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Seek pale blood to transcend the hunt. Alright. Mm -hmm. Um, When I like woke up after I got the platinum trophy, got up off the little gurney there, I was like, I'll go to the door. And then I just sat down, took a screenshot, because I was like, this hunter's journey is over. She doesn't need to open the door. She's done her time. But uh, you have not done your time, so why don't you open that door, uh, big boy? I tried earlier, but you was I you keep checking my pockets. Stop. <laughs> this is not going to fare well if you can't even press X. Do you think you're going to be able to beat this guy without your weapons? Uh, no. Okay. So for those, uh, the viewers who don't know about these games, the whole gimmick whoa, 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 whoa. of like Bloodborne and Dark Souls and everything is that they're ridiculously hard, as you can see. <laughs> I just want to, I just want to punch you in the butt. <laughs> okay. The so Solon's dead. Yep. Uh, so that's it for this playthrough. Thanks for watching. <laughs> see you next time. In a dusty field. Yep. I find myself naked. <laughs> okay, so here's another question I have to ask for you. How much of like the lore stuff do you want me to just like spoil? Or not necessarily spoil, but talk about. Because there's something I could tell you right now that'll blow your mind. Just go ham.
Okay. That doll right there, you yeah. know when it, um, like right now it's abandoned. Right. You can go up to it, it says it's abandoned doll. You keep <laughs> doing that, I swear. Um, it's because you have zero insight. Yeah. Once you get insight, she's out moving around, she's talking, you know why? Because there's a god that is inhabiting her. Really? Yep. <laughs> uh, the god is Odin, who you might remember from like the tomb of Odin where you fight Father Gascoigne, Odin's chapel. They call him Formless Odin. Because he's manipulating, he manipulates the messengers, and he manipulates the doll. So let me put this in, let me put this in, uh, <laughs> Go to the, go to the, there. the last two boxes, there you go. There. Yep. So now when I do this, I've got that, I've yep. got this. There you go. Oh. So let me, uh, while this is loading in, let me tell everybody why I love this game so much. Okay. The story is one of the best stories I've ever seen in the game. The way it all unfurls and everything is absurd. The music is incredible. Um, the gameplay is really fun, and like from a personal level, uh, I was like, I recently finished the 13th draft of my book, and you know what I realized? What? I was like, fuck, I just wrote Bloodborne for kids, basically. <laughs> hey, oh, no. oh, hey. No. There you go, you got him. Gosh. Cut me some slack. <laughs> Get those, uh, why do you keep, what button <laughs> are you pressing? <laughs> Picture a city that has an alcohol problem, and the blood is the alcohol. Yeah. Like, people want the blood. They're undone by the blood. That's a reference that you won't see for at least three months. Oh, jeez. I don't know. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> keep doing this. We're just going to end this episode right now. Like, look how this game is so well designed. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So we're in Yarnum right now. It's dusk. The night of the hunt hasn't started yet. I love it. I love that the first, like, gate you open takes so long. It gives you all a chance to think about the fact that you just stepped into Detroit, Michigan. Central Yarnum. Oh, no. Is he okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck him up. So these guys are just basically, they're just townspeople that think they're going to be hunters. Like, they're going out into the hunt. So what makes a hunter? I mean, anybody can be a hunter, but these guys have no chance. I have to go in here. Nope. <laughs> uh, give that lever a ah. little, little jangle. Uh, oh my, my god, keys. I swear if you keep doing that. <laughs> All right, when you... Uh, now I go in here. No, you go up the ladder that just came Oh, down. there's a ladder here. <laughs> Man, I was really looking forward to this playthrough, but now I feel like it's going to give me a headache. <laughs> no, I'll be fine. You know, you can cl uh, quick climb the ladder if you hold circle. Oh, really? Yeah, I just discovered that I in my third playthrough. What was his name? Grapkles? Grapkles! <laughs> you can talk to him one more time and he'll say something different. I have what you say. Uh, never heard of it. I make TV money. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Alright, let's leave. Get out of here, you make Gilbert mad. Pebbles! Yay! You can get a minigun in the DLC. Really? Yeah. Which we're gonna be playing. Is that He's gonna still work? twitching. It's because I've got my axe embedded <laughs> in his central nervous system. <laughs> oh, good timing. Yeah. Knock him, knock him right on his b-hole. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, blood, stab yourself with that blood vial. There we go. Take it, and don't come back. <laughs> These guys are tricky. Ah, uh, gosh. There you go. Ah, oh, God. Oh, no. You're it's dead. It's already happened. <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> Oh my! Where, what is your game? What's your end plan right oh, now? Because you're just oh my gosh. No, you're you're going right into a. There you go. Boy, you didn't even try to uh, thin the herd before. Man. Ah! <laughs> Wait, look at the big uh, thing in the middle. You know what that is? Uh, it's a. Uh, 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 <clears throat> nope. <laughs> it's one of those werewolves from the beginning. Oh really? Yeah. All right, come at me. Farm boy. Oh boy, it stresses me out that you don't lock on. <laughs> Take that. Man, what an idiot. Why is the fact when I fucking fight the dogs, they're like, each one's a goddamn mini boss? <laughs> I saw a post on the subreddit that was like, I killed a dog without being hit, ask me anything. <laughs> I think you cleared it. You beat Bloodborne. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. You're wasted a blood vial. <laughs> if you go down to that guy and charge your R2 attack, it's, it knocks him right on his ass. I suggest you try it. You will try. <laughs> <laughs> no. Mm. Uh, bah, bah. Yeah, okay. Oof. There we 
go. You stop it. <laughs> That's another shortcut you can open up at some point, I think. This one? Yeah. Yeah, because the, the window right there, um, that's the girl that, like, asked you to look for her mother. Whose father Gascoigne's daughter. Oh, right, right, yeah. Ah! Oh, it doesn't even matter, you got your rally help there. There's another dog. So stay vigilant. Oh, he doesn't even know what's going on. Look at him. It's Gracie. <laughs> yeah, oh, that really on. is. What wouldn't happen if you walked off. This, <laughs> this always makes me a little nervous. Okay. Here we go. Oh I'm not pulling the run. <laughs> is that the trick? Uh, you run by them? Yeah. And then you come down here. You take care of this guy. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. And then... Oh, are you, like, kiting them in? Yeah. So and then they get stuck him. on this door. Yeah. Can't do anything now, can, can you? Can't reach me, can you? You know what, though? This is, uh, this is a big part of these Bloodborne Dark Souls games. Because the game is looking to screw you over at any oh. opportunity. So you got to look to screw the game over, too. Yeah. Damn. Oh, ah! <laughs> let him get in. Wow. Wow! Oh, see, I knew there was a guy up here. Hey, don't. I'm not done with you. Oh. <laughs> I'm come talking shit. So I feel like I think you get the shortcut by going through that house. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, turn to your left. There's a little note you can read. When the hunt began, the healing church left us, blocking the great bridge to Cathedral Ward as old Yarnum burned to the ground that moonlit night. So I think it's that door right there. Because then that other door is going to lead to the shortcut to Gascoigne. Yeah. There's going to be guys, though, so get ready. Up the stairs. Up oh, <laughs> the stairs! Yeah, there we go. Yay. So now that shortcut's open. There's another shortcut you can use, actually, that I found recently. There's a really long shortcut that I always use. <laughs> Did you go into the sewers? Yep. yep. Run past the pig, climb yep. up that ladder, deal with the... Well, you always have to deal with the fire guy. Yeah. There, there we go. Got some light. Yay. Now I don't need it anymore. <laughs> oh, jeez. <God. laughs> yeah, the bodies don't disappear. Um, so before you jump in here, I'm going to tell you, you know what this boss actually is? Uh, is it a... Uh, no. So <laughs> that little note that they read, it said, like, the healing church shut the gates and everything on yeah. the night of the hunt. Um, this boss you're have to f about to fight is the head hunter of the healing church. Whoa. He's gone beast. There he is. All right, let's see if I can beat him in one turn again. All right, 39 damage. We're, we're well on the way. Huh. We're, we're on the road to Viridian City. Can. Oh, crap, I forgot about this. What does it do? That, um, that's not an attack. What that is is oh, he's just healing. He's not healing his health, but he's healing his limbs, so they're not, like, crippled anymore. And crippling, it doesn't do anything to his damage. Oh, oh I think yep. you there you go. Dead. Yep, so that's death number three. That's the uh. first boss death. Oh, you should be able to get like some level up out of that. I've got something to say to you. <laughs> the first time I talked to this lady, she said, now shut your eyes. I didn't. I didn't know. <laughs> I sat there for like five minutes <laughs> waiting. Oh my god. What's this? What's this? <laughs> this is Garman. Garman. He's the first hunter. He says some creepy stuff. Don't, Don't think too hard about out. this. Just go out and kill a field burst. That's for your own good. <laughs> I think that's how Garman talked. You know, it's an old honor to live here, so it's a lot of safe haven for hunting. You know, we're shining with hunters whose blood and hands their weapons and flesh. We don't have as many tools as we did once, dead, but... <laughs> You're welcome to use whatever you find. Even the doll should please you. Oh. Let's see where fuck that doll. What the- To escape this dreadful hunter's dream, halt the scourge of the spreading scourge. Fuck! I always read that wrong. <laughs> Let's the night carry on forever. What I love about that note is it's literally the whole story of Bloodborne in one sentence. And I'm really hungry. <laughs> and we're back. Just be safe. Come on. Oh, uh, here's something you have to look forward to. In the DLC, you have to fight the Cleric Beast again, only this time it's on fire. Whoa. <laughs> and it's not, it's a special Cleric Beast. Oh, he keeps hitting me. His name's Lawrence. Where's, <laughs> where's, what's his name? Larry. Larry. <laughs> where's Larry? Oh god, I'm out of stamina. Remember when they, Cam and Mitch were telling her, like, he he moved to go live with his wife. And Lily's like, Larry doesn't have a wife, he has a husband. This and they just go like, oh. <laughs> I need to watch some of those old episodes. Because yeah. that's when it was at its funniest, when the kids are really young. We're talking about Modern Family, in case anyone didn't know. 
I've got two blood vials left. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this match has to come to an end. We're going to end on a win or a loss. Yep. There's no disqualifications. Uh, it's a loss. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Um, well, look forward to Bloodborne Episode 2. <laughs>